hecklers in the crowd. <laughs> We have water. So this is a really um, very simple dish, but very very delicious, and it's one of my favorite combinations that we have going on at the restaurant right now. Um, Felix and I talked and we wanted to do something that definitely somebody could just quickly pull together from here and take it home and, and have something really good. Um, the green beans and a lot of the green beans. I, my favorite, um, when we first started doing this we were using the Chinese long beans. I just really like the texture and um, the flavor is really great. Then we started getting the fall green beans and all that good stuff so we're doing it with this now and I, I think they're fantastic too. Um, we're starting off with just a balsamic vinaigrette and all it really simply I have a uh, little, this is Miss Cipollini onion and I mean I was looking for some shallots and this has definitely worked. I just want a little bit of that onion flavor. I think it's important to have that flavor but be careful because it's too much and you guys know how that can take over a dish. But a um, little bit of onion, a little bit of uh, garlic, some salt, pepper and vinegar. That's pretty standard way we'll make any of our vinaigrettes at the restaurant. We usually let that macerate sit for few minutes to kind of uh, melt the flavors and uh, after that if that sits we're going to go ahead and just blanch our green beans and hopefully we'll do this without anybody getting hurt. Um, I'm not a real big fan of crunchy vegetables. Usually I don't like them overcooked either. I mean, when we cook green beans or we cook um, most vegetables that we're serving with the entree, we're typically we'll cook them until they're tender, but definitely until they retain their, you know, what they, what they are, the integrity of the vegetable. But for this, um, for a salad, I do like them on the crispier side. I just think it's a little more refreshing and more appropriate. Um, we have, I'm going to add a few olives. I'm just going to chop them to the vinaigrette. are uh, just the, they're actually pitted mixed olives that we get from a uh, Bel Area company that uh, Daniel from the Chef's Helper, you see him floating around here a lot, he may be out here somewhere, I'm not sure. There he is, right behind you everybody. I uh, <laughs> highly recommend the Chef's Helper. What is the Chef's Helper? The Chef's Helper is a uh, local company that's um, Deals in all kinds of specialty produce, but not only specialty stuff. Um, they get these all kinds of great, I mean, anything from imported olive oils to uh, Spanish white anchovies to. Yeah, that's so much to the public, but if you do want something special, then you can't get it for you. Sometimes you just can't find stuff in town. They're here, they're right down on Shaw Avenue, and they can get stuff for you. I got to I got to tell you I'm probably the uh, biggest fan of doing things just by by feel and taste and not such a big fan of just adhering to a, a strict recipe um, I mean there's a few a few ingredients in this salad so it's pretty I mean, just do it. If you, if you want some more olives in there, throw some more olives. If it, it's pretty, if it lacks brightness and flavor, get it with a little bit more vinegar. Need about 30 more seconds. So I'm just going to take this is olive oil. This is actually the Bari olive oil that usually, hi Sharon, that we usually have right around here, um, right over here. I'm not sure if they're there today. But, uh, anyways, really good stuff. Extra virgin olive oil. 
Yeah. I'm just putting in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just putting enough to coat this liberally. <laughs> we'll kind of whisk it all together. Parmesan cheese. I think these are right where we want them. Chill these in a little bit of ice water. So why those chill just for 30 seconds? But we have again chipotle onion, a little bit of garlic, um, salt, pepper, the balsamic vinegar. We put that all in there, let it sit for a few minutes, and then we add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and uh, the Parmesan cheese. And as these cool, I'm just going to transfer them here to kind of drain off some of the water. So Felix, we're doing this every other Saturday? Every help? Saturday for six weeks. Every Saturday for six weeks, they'll be doing a chef series out here. Yeah, so this is the first one? This is the first one. And you started on uh, what? 9 o'clock? 10 o'clock? 10. About 10 o'clock. So we've got our green beans here. And I'm just going to put them right here in the bowl with the vinaigrette. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I should have put him on the wrapper. He didn't remove the string, right? I'm sorry? He didn't remove the string on that. I actually did just before everybody got here. Okay. I just <laughs> cut the tip off. And then these are the Black Mission figs. Yeah, twice a week. That I just think are fantastic. <laughs> I think you'll find this combination is just really wonderful. How much balsamic vinegar would you put in there? Um, I would guesstimate at about two ounces for something like that. I'm on my top cooking and I put uh, Tabasco sauce and I say, well, how much did you put in there? Because I just go like that. I said eight drops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are just wonderful. <laughs> Uh, the ones, and the ones here at the market, I think there's some of the best that I've had. So melon, they call it so much. Uh, you know, goes like a couple more here. You're cooking the soup with.